Hi guys, welcome back. So the other day I get an email and it's from my friend Tracy. And she's the moderator in my Facebook group. And she goes, she's as obsessed with art supplies as I am. So I get an email from her and she says to me, you have to check out these pencils. This is the Amazon brand colored pencil set. I think it's been out for two years. I've literally never even looked at them before. I usually use higher end pencils and I know a lot of people that can't afford Prismacolors, I hear you guys, I understand they're expensive, especially in today's times. So when she told me to go check these pencils out, I didn't get excited. I was like, oh, it's just another lower priced brand of pencils. I've got thousands of pencils. But when I went to Amazon, I was like, eh, they're under $30. She's saying they're good. Let me check them out. Now, she hadn't gotten them yet. She was just saying that she heard they were good. So I get them a day or two later with Prime. And when I opened up the box, I was like, wow, they're pretty. <laughs> it's a nice array of colors. But you can't judge a pencil by the outside. You have to see what they do. So immediately that night, I started to swatch them. And I'm not doing a color comparison or anything like that. I'm just taking them and drawing on paper and seeing what the, you know, judging how they lay down and what the colors are. And I laid down a few of them and I turned around and I looked back from a, across the room and I was like, wait a minute, that's Prismacolor. So I come back and I'm looking at them and I start getting out more. I'm like, I know this color. My antennas went up and I was like, what the? So I got a little bit more serious and I got out a swatch sheet where I can compare them to the Prismacolor. Good Lord. I don't know. Now, if Prismacolor gave Amazon the formulas for their colors, because normally pencils do not match this closely. They match semi, but to get a full set was insane. So I don't know if there's some sort of association between Prismacolor and Amazon, but if there isn't, there's a very good chance Prismacolor is going to be really pissed off. Because I'm going to show you this, and it's shocking. Okay, I'm going to start with the beginning colors. Sand almost identically matches with the eggshell. Sand being a little bit lighter, had I pressed a little harder, it would have come up as eggshell. Um, it might have a little bit more white. Lemon yellow, deco yellow. Um, this side is the Amazon. Yellow and canary yellow. These colors are so closely matched and comped that if you were doing a picture... It wouldn't matter if you picked up a Prismacolor pencil or you picked up a pencil from this set. The colors are so close that the pictures would look identical. Tangerine is yellow to orange. Orange is orange. Vermilion is pale vermilion. Scarlet is poppy red. Now, you don't have to worry if you buy this set and you... Um, have to figure it out. I've already done your comps for you. I'm going to make this available over at the Facebook group. Red is Carmine Red. You could see every single color that came from the Amazon set. And I mean every one. It's a 72 pencil set. 72 pencils matched identically with the Prismacolors. Rose. Now on Rose, it matched Pomegranate. But I added in a little darker um, color. In some of these cases, it needed a little darker or a little lighter. But that's just a tint. Everybody can do tint, tone, and shade now. You just add a tinge of black and blend it up. And you have another... It's the same color, but a darker hue of it. Pink and pink. Salmon. Now, where I have this, salmon and mixes with nectar and pink so on the prismacolor side it's an identical match nectar and pink make their salmon blush and salmon pink flesh oh i didn't write it down i'll have to go figure out which one i chose for this but it was a match all of these colors cream 
beige, and beige. They're lavender, lavender and gray lavender. Look how close this is. Lilac and their Parma Violet. Well, this is Prismacolors with matches with their lilac. Hydrangea is their, is Prismacolors lavender. Magenta is lavender mixed with hot pink. And then you get that. But you can go the other direction too. I'm going to do both directions uh, when I give this out. I'll show you the pencils going in both directions. Yellow green matches with spring green. Mustard. Their mustard is Prismacolor's Lime Peel and Sand. Identical colors. So whatever they did with this, they just took Lime Peel and Sand and mixed it together. Their Burnt Okra is a combination of um, Yellow Okra and Light Umber. Or Chocolate. No, no, I'm sorry. It's Burnt Sienna and Yellow Okra. Ochre. Oh, someday I'm going to get that right. I had it right in one video. Oka. Urker. You know what I'm talking about. And it makes their burnt umber. Their burnt ochre. Brown, their brown is a little bit red. And it was a fantastic match with Tuscan red. It's a little bit browner than it is red. But if you were doing a picture, and if you added in um, the red-brown with the burnt sienna, you would have an identical match to burnt sienna on this side. They're the same, the same colors. Your pictures will be identical. Going down on your grays, their grays are all the warm grays. Blue-gray is slate gray. Um, slate gray here. It is actually cool gray 90, but I couldn't find my pencil. Black. Their black was blacker than the Prismacolor black. Would you believe? Their silvers match. Their gold, Prismacolor's gold was a little bit darker. I liked the Amazon gold better. It was more goldy, where this was much darker. Unbelievable. Going down, Claret is processed red. Red Violet is their Lavender. Cobalt Blue, Copenhagen Blue. Now they have this Cimarron. 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 S-M-Y. I have trouble pronouncing anything that doesn't have a vowel in between. And then I screw up my vowels. But that's besides the point. Cimarron. Nah. Blue. It's Powder Blue. I was testing it against some of the others. It's a very close match, these two. Their blue is China blue. These are identical colors. Go like this, close your eyes, mix them up. You can't tell the difference. Same exact color. There are 72 pencils in this set, and it came out to under $30. I think with tax, it was just hitting the $30, $30 mark. Where Prismacolor, the same colors, amazing. So I wanted to see how they blended and I have, you know, how they laid down because it's great that they swatched out identical, but how do they color? I got out Sensational Wonder Women and this is by Claudia P. Merlanda. Claudia P. Marjolanda. <laughs> and the colorist was Nate Lopez. Copyright 2020. Um, I'm going to do a review on this book. I'm not going to worry about it right now doing the flip through this book was amazing let me tell you whoa this is like iron paper i've never seen a coloring book have paper that had tooth that stood up to me like i lost completely lost to this book my hand was done before it was done so i decided i was going to use the, my new book with my new pencils and as you see, I picked out a pretty girl. Now, I wanted to abuse this woman, which is really bad because this book is about empowering women, and I kind of made her look like a hooker on the next day. But I wanted to see what these pencils were going to do, and this was the paper for me to do it on. The pencils went down a little bit harder than Prismacolor. There's definitely a feel difference 
hardness that Prismacolor does not have. So I would, I could definitely tell it's not Prismacolor. They weren't as saturated as Prismacolor, but what do you expect? It's a $29 pack of pencils. Were they able to blend in color? Well, as you see, I was having no trouble blending and getting it to go. Now, I did some really hard wrinkles on this girl. I wanted to really take this pencil set for a challenge. Don't be looking at this as the tutorial on how to do material. I'm going to show you how to do a much less wrinkled, much more um, body conscious way of doing wrinkles. That will come in the next couple of lessons. But so I was doing this hard. And you could see that it was saturated enough, especially for anybody that's new and doesn't own Prismacolors. Now, if you get this, you can follow along with tutorials. You know the colors. And I'll show you what I did to these pencils in just a minute so that you can really follow along. You can almost, these pencils are named, but if you take some tape and like a little bit of Pasca, you can write right on the pencil, the name of the pencil, and you don't have to worry about the tape. And I'll, I'll demo that in a minute on what I did. So if I say use a process red, you know that it is process red that you're using, even though the pencil's cheaper. Now the downside on it, which is not really that much of a downside because everybody's got to do this, is the pencils need to be replaced. And this is sold in sets. It's not sold as in individual pencils. So what I recommend if you really can't afford a full Prisma set is to get this set and then build your Prisma colors up one by one as you run out of the pencil, replace it with another pencil that's Prisma color. Eventually you'll have a set. I mean, everybody has to replace pencils anyway. So at least you have an identical pencil with this cheaper set. Like say you fall in love with the color and you get used to using a color and then you have to buy a whole set. With this, it's replaceable with Prismacolor easily. You can't put a pencil through the pencil sharpener with tape on it. It's going to gunk it up. But if you take a little bit of Pasca and you put the Pasca on the pencil, just like this, Let that fully dry and then take, well, this is going to roll over on itself. Then you can take a fine liner, any fine liner, and just, you have to let it dry really well. Maybe even put two coats on. Take your fine liner. So this is, this is Carmine. You look on the comp sheet, you find Carmine. No, it's fine. Carmine is magenta. Okay? Just write magenta. It paints a little bit. The Pasca's a little bit soft on here right now. You can put this through your pencil sharpener. Even if you did this with a little bit of tape on a piece of paper at the very end, it's not going to affect the rest of the, of the pencil. It's just how, I mean, I use a pencil, I use it down to like this. So I would use this, and Pasca can go through your uh, machine. It's just paint. Dried paint won't do anything to your uh, your pencil sharpener. So do I recommend these pencils? Highly. Like, it's going to, that's, this is going to be the set that I tell everybody, get this set. If you're, you know, you can't afford Prismacolor, look at this. Look how nice. And now, look at the blend on it. Okay. Now, it's not as soft as Prismacolor, but this is the best darn set that I've found so far. And with that, guys, I will see you in our next video. Take care.